Vyan sat on the edge of their bed, her hands tightly clasped together as she stared out of the window. Watching the sun dip below the horizon, her heart ached with worry as she thought about Tehu. Her husband of five years, lately, he had been acting strangely, distant, withdrawn, and almost like a stranger in their own home. She couldn't shake the feeling of unease that had settled in her chest, a heavy weight that seemed to grow heavier with each passing day. The Hyung used to be so warm and affectionate, always eager to spend time with her and showed her with love and attention. But now he barely spoke to her, coming home late from work and retreating to his study without a word. Wyan couldn't remember the last time they had a proper conversation. Or even shared a meal together. It felt like they were living separate lives under the same roof. and it tore at her heart to see the man she loved drifting further and further away from her. She tried to talk to him about it, to ask him what was wrong and how she could help. But Taehyung always brushed her off with a vague excuse or a forced smile. It was like he was hiding something from her, keeping her at arm's length and refusing to let her in. As she heard the front door open and close downstairs, Wyan's heart skipped a beat. Tehum was home. But she knew that it wouldn't mean much. He would probably just head straight to his study. shutting himself away from her once again. Sure enough, she heard his footsteps on the stairs, slow and heavy. As he made his way up to their bedroom, Wyan held her breath.
waiting for him to enter, her stomach churning with nerves. When Taehyung finally appeared in the doorway, Wyan's heart sank at the sight of him. His usually bright eyes were dull and distant, his shoulders slumped with exhaustion. He didn't even spare her a glance as he moved to the closet. Pulling out a fresh set of clothes without a word. They, Wyan whispered, her voice barely above a breath, can we talk? Taehyung paused for a moment, his back still turned to her before he let out a heavy sigh. Not now, Wyan, I'm tired. Wyan felt tears prick at her eyes as she watched him change quickly and climb into bed without another word. She wanted to reach out to him, to hold him close and tell him that she was there for him no matter what, but something held her back. Instead, she lay there in darkness listening to Taehyung's steady breathing as he drifted off to sleep. The distance between them felt like an insurmountable charge, and Wyan felt more alone than ever in the shared bedroom. As the daughter of one of the most powerful mafia bosses in the city, Wyan had always been expected to follow in her father's footsteps, but when she met Taehyung, everything changed. He was charming, kind, and unlike anyone she had ever met before, despite their family's long-standing feud. They fell deeply in love and decided to elope, much to her father's dismay. Wyan's father had made it clear that he would never accept their relationship, let alone their marriage. So they had no choice but to run away, leaving behind everything they had ever known. It's been two years since she had last seen her father.
The evening air was cool and crisp as Wyan made her way to the grocery store. Her mind preoccupied with the list of items she needed to pick up. She walked briskly, the streetlights casting a warm glow on the bustling city around her. As she reached the store, she grabbed a basket and began to weave through the easels lost in her thoughts. After grabbing the essentials, Wyand decided to treat herself to a sweet indulgence and headed towards the nearby ice cream shop. The tantalizing scent of freshly made waffle cones wafted towards her, making her mouth water in anticipation. She smiled to herself as she approached the shop, eager to satisfy her craving. But as she rounded the corner, her heart plummeted to the pit of her stomach. There, sitting at a table near the window, was Tehu. She could only see his back, but she knew it was him. Her steps faltered as she watched him, sense of unease creeping over her. And then, like a dagger through her heart, she saw a girl approach Tehu. The girl was beautiful with long flowing hair and radiant smile. Wyan's breath caught in her throat as she watched the girl lean in and press a soft kiss to Tehing's lips. Time seemed to stand still as Wyan's world came crashing down around her. Her hands trembled as she clutched the basket tightly, her eyes fixed on the screen before her. Thousand thoughts raced through her mind, each one more painful than the last. She felt a surge of betrayal and hurt wash over her like a tidal wave threatening to drown her in despair. How could they him do this to her? Had their love meant nothing to him?
The realization that he could be with another woman so easily shattered her heart into a million irreplaceable pieces. Tears welled up in Wyan's eyes as she struggled to make sense of the situation unfolding before her. She wanted to scream to lash out at Taehyung and demand an explanation. But a part of her knew that it was a futile that seeing him with another woman had already spoken volumes about where they stood. With a heavy heart, Wyan turned on her heel and fled from the ice cream shop, unable to bear the sight any longer. The world around her blurred as tears streamed down her cheeks, each step feeling like a weight on her chest. She felt as though she was suffocating under the weight of her shattered dreams and broken heart. As she walked aimlessly through the dimly lit streets, the sound of the city fading into a distant hum. Wine felt a deep sense of loss and emptiness engulf her. The pain was like a physical ache in her chest, a constant reminder of the love she had lost. She found herself in a quiet alleyway far from the bustling crowd and bright light of the city. Leaning against a brick wall, she let out a choked sob, her body trembling with raw emotion. The reality of Taehyung's betrayal hit her like a ton of bricks, leaving her feeling hollow and lost. With a heavy heart and tear-strained cheeks, Wyan wiped away her tears and straightened her shoulders. She took one last look at the city around her, its light twinkling in the distance. Before turning away and walking into the night, determined to find solace in the darkness that now surrounded her. As she disappeared into the shadows, a single tear fell from her eyes glistening in the moonlight.
Wine sat on the edge of the bed, her heart heavy with the weight of betrayal and hurt. The room felt suffocating, the walls closing in on her as she tried to make sense of the shattered pieces of her heart. Tears continued to stream down her cheeks, leaving a trail of glistening sorrow in their wake. As she sat there lost in her thoughts, she heard the familiar sound of front door opening. Her heart skipped a beat as she realized the young was home. Part of her wanted to hide to avoid facing him and the painful truth of his infidelity. But a stronger part of her knew that she needed answers, closure, even if it meant facing the pain head on. Taking a deep breath, Wyan made her way downstairs, her steps heavy with the weight of her emotions. She found Taehyung in the living room, his back turned to her as he emerged through his bag. Seemingly oblivious to her presence, without a word, he started to make his way towards their bedroom, as if nothing had changed. But Wyan couldn't let him walk away this time. She reached out and grabbed his hand, stopping him from his track. Tehyung turned to look at her confusion and surprise flickering in his eyes. She could see the guilt and avoidance written all over his face, but she needed to confront him to hear the truth from his own lips. Sit here. She said, making him sit on the sofa and sat in front of him on the floor. She took his hand in hers gently. Tehyung, she whispered, her voice trembling with emotion. Have you been seeing another woman? At first, Taehyung's eyes widened in panic, his breath catching in his throat. He opened his mouth to speak, but no words came out. His gaze darted around the room. Avoiding Wyan's piercing stare, the silence stretched between them.
heavy with unspoken truth and unshed tears. Please tell me, she whispered finally after what felt like an eternity. They Hyung nodded, his shoulders slumping in defeat. The admission hung in the air like a heavy cloud, suffocating the room with its weight. He felt her grip on his hand loosen while and felt a fresh wave of pain wash over her. The reality of his betrayal hitting her once again like a dagger through the heart. Why? she asked, her voice barely above a whisper. Why would you do this to me? To us? Taehyung looked down at his hands, unable to meet her gaze. He stayed silent. Wine felt a surge of anger rise within her, mingling with the hurt and betrayal that threatened to consume her whole. She wanted to scream, to lash out at him for breaking her heart so callously, but instead she took a deep breath and composed herself. Determined to hear him out before making any decisions. She looked into his eyes, searching for any hint of sincerity or remorse. Do you love her? She asked, her voice steady despite the turmoil raging inside her. Taehyung's sight met hurts, a flicker of pain crossing his features before he looked away. No, Wyan, I don't love anyone. I only love you. He whispered, his voice stern and raw with emotion. It seemed like the question had offended him. Wine chuckled sarcastically, looking away. Wow, sure. And they hung again stayed silent. Why, Tehu, if you love me, why is there another woman between us? Why have you been ignoring me? He looked down, not saying anything. Tell me, Tehu, she broke down in tears and sobs. Tell me, please. Your silence is killing me, Kim. 
Taehyung sighed, cupping her cheeks and wiping her tears with his thumbs. I only love you, Wyan. I have only loved you. I will only love you. He got up after saying that and went towards their shared bedroom. 